do they have dudes coming after us right now, or is that just kind of a uh, every now and again sort of thing? I wonder what triggers it. Hmm. Uh, body armor was back in the corner. Yeah, just to the left here. Oh, and I got the extra health bar immediately. Okay, I thought I had to buy it or something. Very nice. So now I can survive maybe two shots. <laughs> maybe. I know it's not that hard. If you get shot once without uh, without armor, you, you go into like critical status. Yes, I, I noticed. Thank you. So that is... Mostly that. Circle up with Vito to discuss your next step against Greco. Okay, so we're meeting Vito down here. He moved out from that building. A. Hey. I'm here! Shit. <laughs> I'm so glad it didn't fly off into the water. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm here to help. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of who is in there. He's probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Music. The game loves its goddamn music. He's a little fuck, that's how. Yeah, how did he end up in my car? It. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? I flipped it. Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly. Boy, take ah, it. But fucking bridge work. Damn it. I was hoping I could slam him into a pole Go or back something. To Sal. Tell him he's done fucking Vito Scaletta. Damn, I tried. You fucks ready to die for really? this piece of shit, Greco! Huh? Wow, you guys really very nearly made me feel the mission just then. Okay, they had the flat tire, not me. I was gonna say also. No, he's right over there though. But he's, he's right there. I still Vito see him. agreed to work with Lincoln on one condition. God damn it. That he bring him Michael Greco. When Greco escaped, Vito backed out. Where the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. So this time I won't try to get the guy killed God hanging out the Why window. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, oh. point taken. I'm done with Greco, you cocksuckers are next! Hmm. Actually, ugh. Jesus fuck, Sal's guys don't let up, do they? Actually went a different way. It annoys me how some poles I can go through and some I can't. Watch it! Like these lights can't go through there. Traffic lights, I can. Hmm. I wish I could like help shoot or something. Really if I could do anything at all besides drive, because this guy's he's really shit at this whole killing guys thing. Like 
thinking? I'm not gonna fucking die in this hunk of shit car with you. That car. Oh. I've been missing that car for a very long time. I wonder if this is why. Man, eh, probably just coincidence. That's my uh, fucking car. What's up with my rear view mirror? Oh, there we go. This is so awkward. Fuck! Fuck, god damn it! The fuck are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. It's like the worst thing. It's like, just drive, and I have to rely on that guy to do everything. Okay. I know. Cops are on our ass. Or alternatively, I just what? drive away. What you crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, oh God, slow the fuck down, you big gorilla. You chicken shit motherfuckers, let me go already. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Ow! Somebody fucking help! Ow! Watch out for cops. This asshole in the back seat. Okay. So. Whew. Shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there. I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. I can't throw one of the Screaming Zimmies. Why but did you tell me I about am. throwing Bloody Screaming Zimmies when I can't I throw them? Did you expect me to get out of my car to throw them to get back in the car and drive off? Kid? The you hell. God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. I thought maybe I could do, like, a drive-by with the Screaming Zimmy to distract cops or something. Somehow didn't really yeah. make sense. Settle down back there, kiddo. Ride will be over soon. <laughs> oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing! Didn't do nothing? You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't... I don't... Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpetbagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. Keep going, you got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino! And you were gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uh, Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there! He wants to go legit! Turn this city into Las Vegas! Gambling's illegal! Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal! <gasps> Which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain! Who else is involved in this? I don't know! I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. 
I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talked to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. So now we have a another under marker use markers to pay for associates. Right. Almost seems simple enough. Optional mission. She is the one that I do for the uh missions to grind out more money. Yes. Yes. Um, I'll worry about that later. That's definitely an off-camera type thing, because it is if it's anything like the the smuggling for this, it's uh very, 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 very lengthy. <laughs> It's a very massive time kill. So with that basically all done down there, we'll head to uh, Burke, who was the guy who owned the car shop, I believe. I might actually swing by. Yeah, I'll swing by and get the cake back first, then I'll head up there and uh, and talk to Burke. And I'm not even going to worry about the junction boxes. Uh, really not at all concerned or can't really be bothered to do it. We'll talk to Father James, how things really work. Oh, maybe we'll do that real quick. And another conversation unlocked. 
All sorts of stuff. All right, money first, though. You got something to say? I recognize the trust you had to have to put the holla in my hands. You won't regret it. Great. Excellent. Thanks. <laughs> I thought that was like a, oh, a new conversation unlocked with her, but no. I don't think there was. Got a shitload of markers, but I don't know where to actually find how many markers I have. At all, but, uh, associates cost markers. But the only associate that I have so far that actually cost markers are the hit squad. Cost one marker. Not sure how many markers I have. So, oh, there we go at the very tip top. I have uh, one of her markers and three of his. Okay, I see him up there. Nice. I thought they'd be on the bottom left corner or something like that. So we'll head over to Burke. Do his stuff. I'm assuming it's going to be the exact same routine that we just did. Here's a couple people to talk to. Talk to them. Um, talking to each one gives you a shitload of stuff to do. There's no water in there. Don't lie to me. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, wow, already 756 kickback. Holy shit. Vito Sklod has got some money. It's not just about more time. I'll talk to Father James about what you're doing out there. All right, we'll, we'll swing around and, and talk to Father James real quick. Sure. And then there's also... Oh. Uh, See what Donovan's up to. Alright, fine. We'll see what Donovan's up to first. He's right there. Oh, I run around talk to people. Ugh. How horrible. Talking to people. Gross. Speaking of gross. Jesus. Heavy as hell. Sorry about the water. Just go around it or something. You shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be I. Right. Hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with a 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying. We didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious. Why would I be upset? <laughs> so this literally is just flavor text. All right. Well, we're uh, we're heading by. Uh, Father James, <laughs> got his name. We may as well swing by. So he's got to say real quick on our way up. Doesn't take long. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in the newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. 
She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. And we're here at Duffy's Irish Pub, established 1903. So this is the guy, I think he owned a car shop, was it? It's uh, Johnny's father or something like that. He's, he's going to be one of my assets. I thought. I... I thought, I thought he was right here, but that's... That's not him. Hmm. Okay, and this will be, uh, this guy though, I believe. Looking at this, if the pattern continues. We'll, uh, we'll be taking out this guy, and then we can take out one of these guys, and take out one of these dudes, and then that, and then that, and that, and then we finally get this guy. And... Right? I think. You're closed. Try the back door. Fuck you, you're closed. Look at that. There's, there's a dude in there. That might be Burke, actually. I don't know. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now it's in everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. The fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You know what may help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidum back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. Hey, no fuck off. All the chalky postures once already. Look where it got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you less than God, you fuck. Danny <laughs> was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Danny one's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Rub our stones in the likes of you, they are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you are caught in run at the first sign of trouble. You always have, and you always will. Burke needs convincing that you're serious. Speed, drive dangerously, drive on the wrong side of the road, execute jumps, and thread the needle to bring him around to your way of thinking. I think drive like a madman was a, uh, a thing that I could do rather than just, like, killing somebody. Wasn't it? Like, the racket dudes. I could enter drive like a madman, and I was like, what the fuck's that, Marine? In Burke's car. All right. I just hands on okay. the dashboard, motherfucker. <laughs> what the crazy you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stone, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first, the chalky or the mick. We're speeding on the wrong side of the road, almost hit an oncoming car, missed the ramp. Holy mother, Haranga Rajarik! Almost hit a car, did hit a car. Dude, I do this shit just to get around. Oh man, to call out. All right, all right. You proved your point, your mongrel saw. Pull over here. Hold over. Nah, get the fuck out of my ride. Stop by me shop. We can talk business there. Oh, just tell me who to kill. <laughs> all right, head to the shop. Which is? Do we know where? I'm gonna get Burke. I'm gonna chase him down. I still see him. Uh, don't despawn him. God, this car's shitty. Burke. Burke, where's your shop? 
Yeah, he's gone. Oh, the shop's right here. Excellent, that's convenient. What? Wait, what was that? What's this? Oh, record. Looked like a target. I was like, oh, cool, a carnival game. Confirmed. He owns a car place. Uh, well, a junkyard. How do I get in? Bark! Bark! Are you up here? Bark! I can't actually get onto the roof. So soon then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow, head of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Pot chain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbara Harry's gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I runs that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribe. Drags in there. That's the end of you. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. well, once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'll either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, that'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, and hot once again. A nation once again. And Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. Nothing yet. I think I went in too early. Get a new ride brought to you. Oh. Oh, vehicle delivery. Oh, okay. Uh, to bring cars from my garage. Unlock new cars from my garage by dealing with Marcano's lieutenant and capos. Okay. So for now, it's just like a really basic beater ride then, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Is this my car? Here's some wheels. Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. I, need I also need supply. guns. I need to deposit money. Point but done to pick up my cash. <laughs> come one, come all. <laughs> There's my car already dinged up. Very nice. Excellent. Deposit money. That's a big help. Thank you. Watch out. Need guns. Yeah, you need to back out so I can- there we go. <laughs> Buy my ammo. Uh, get my tactical vest. Spending a lot of money on that. My 
cars here. Excellent. Thanks, guys. You guys are the best friends. 